Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students, in this video, we will discuss the theory explanation of unit number one in statistics. Okay, unit number one, uh, there is a compulsory one theory question for your eight mark. Whoever is preparing theory question, this video will be helpful for you them to understand the concepts whatever you are having in your syllabus okay so introduction to statistics is the unit uh, name definitely you will get a theory question based on the statistics topic okay so either they may give any topic related to the statistics uh, for any question in the unit number one definition of statistics compulsory you need to learn it okay so according to some different authors different uh, definitions has been given to the statistics okay basically it is divided into singular and plural sense singular sense is nothing about the you need to explain when you in singular sense what it can be says it, it is nothing about the whatever the classifying whatever the collecting whatever the interpreting of data is there you need to and collecting the data you are collecting you are classifying you are dividing you are presenting and you are storing the data to make the analytical statistics statistics in singular sense is nothing about the whatever the data you are receiving you are doing all this stuff over here and you are making the organization prediction okay it is also known as analytical statistics okay according to the al bowley singular sense uh, statistics was defined as a science of counting no need to remember all these definitions here i am giving a small uh, meaning of the singular sense and plural sense plural sense statistic is nothing about the numerical facts whatever the numerical facts or the data tabular form you are having that is called plural sense okay singular sense and plural sense how it is history what is the history and development of statistics means in olden subject as old as human life statistics is a old subject means how a evaluation of the human being has been made the statistics was also there from first onwards okay with the very limited utility in the past we have used various statements for the prediction purpose we have made various tools no for that purpose it is also not much important just i'm giving a brief introduction over here the next important question very important question is applications of statistics okay applications statistics and planning statistics will do a uh, planning no in an organization or a business planning plays an important vital role in an, any organization so statistics will be helpful for you to analyze and plan for your future outcomes of your organization statistics and state next one science of statistics so statistics is also known as science of statecraft means whatever the statistical data is there price production consumption expenditure and profits by governments it will place the it will make the data related to the state level also next statistics is a subject which is related to the mathematics also means this subject whatever the concepts are there probability these are all we are using no in the statistics so statistics is not a subject it is a managerial subject means which is having a, ma a mathematics in this statistics also okay next is statistics and economics in the statistics and economics various incomes wealth profit of a thing profit of a person income of a person we will discuss it no so statistics is a subject where it will include economics also okay next one you are having statistics in business and management whatever the numerical data whatever the managerial decisions we are making whatever the forecasting techniques we are using that are all related to the business and management only no so statistics in statistics you will have the business and management oriented issue uh, topics also okay next one statistics in accountancy and auditing whatever the statistical method we are using like correlation 
regression or regression or any type of uh, mean median mode it will helpful for us to understand in accountancy or auditing also no so statistic we having a, a thing of accountancy statistics has a subject of auditing also next is statistics in insurance whatever the insurance problems we are having whatever the statistical data of life tables we are having so it is includes insurance also like there are many things in that in examination 5 to 6 points is more than enough then what is the limitations of statistics what are the disadvantages of statistics so statistics always be improves quantity but it will not uh, concentrate on quality how much quantity is not important how much quality of the goods or the service or the data is there is important so it is a basically disadvantage to the statistics so next one statistics does not constitute isolated facts and figures isolated is nothing but individual facts and figures it will not concentrate on it okay so it is a disadvantage also what also means it, statistics won't be like a single person's feeling single product single student single marker like that it won't clean clean it all it will not it will not predict like that so in that case it is a disadvantages only no next is statistic loss are probabilistic in nature means it is like approximate it is not a correct uh, thing like uh, what is is not exact answer it is just a prediction okay it may happen it may not happen in the future so it is a majorly disadvantage only no ma so that is also one of the important thing next one what are the various statistical techniques is used means the first one we are using binomial distribution poisson distribution correlation regression probability and sampling hypothesis whatever you have learned in the whole chapter in whole book okay in first chapter you have learned mean median mode that is also one of the technique of the statistics only so, you no know, you need to elaborate all the points over here okay so in examination try to make it as a point wise okay next one they have asked what is statistics and how a statistic is knowledgeable in managerial decision making okay the first one is production for the production so this statistical data will help you to organization to make or buy decision in an organization taking the decision is very crucial in understanding for that purpose the statistical tools and techniques whatever is there it will help you the organization to make the appropriate decisions next one marketing for marketing purpose also the statistical research will help the analysis it will make the analysis of the purchasing power whether this product is having the demand or not in the thing or not it will help them to understand it okay next one finance finance is nothing about the whatever the correlation analysis is used there for expected future profits or expected future price of a product for that purpose also statistic is one of the technique which is used for the managerial decisions and the last one you are having personal personal is nothing about the administrative department or hr department means whatever the cost of living that there whatever the wage rate per there is there whatever the incentives are there for that purpose also this statistic will be useful so these are the various uh, things uh, essential things are there which will be helpful for the managerial decisions so this is the question which is very much important for your final examination of the theory only theory whoever is preparing problematic prepare problematic also give preference to problematic also not an issue okay next important question you are having ma last important question what is probability or define probability and what are the various additive multiplicative and conditional rules of probability probability is nothing about the whatever the chance we are having means or event or a particular event chance like predicting means how much is the exact prediction like what is the chance of getting the answer right like that addition theorem is nothing but we are adding it see p of a plus p of b p of a plus p of b like that in diagrammatic form how we can represent it like venn diagram mutually exclusive events are nothing about the a diagram will be different 
P diagram will be different. Next one you are having non-mutual. Non-mutual is nothing about the A and B will intersect each other. Means A intersection B like that. This diagram is there. See there is nothing explanation of the answer. Just you need to remember the diagrams along with the formulas. That's it. Okay. And multiplication is nothing but you need to multiply it into P of A into P of B. P of A into P of B. That is the thing. So, this is the things whatever you are having in the examination uh, perspective of the theory questions from unit number 1. I hope that you have got clarity. Definitely there will be a question from statistics. So, prepare statistic concept very well. I hope that you have got clarity. If you are having any further doubts, let me know in the comment section. See you all in next video. Bye bye everyone.